Hi guys, it's future me just popping in real quick to say that this video is only a one part March diary reading and reaction video. And one more thing that I am working with a brand new microphone and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So hang with me and um, just as a suggestion, if you can't watch the entire video in one sitting, add it to your watch later list and come back and watch it when you can finish it up. All right, see you in a second. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because this is the reading for March. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a two part or a one part. We will see. But let's get right into it. I hope you enjoyed the last one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's open her up. Oh, March, March, March. Oh, that's right. I have a marker. Okay. So we are starting on March 1st. Duh. It was put in another place. What is wrong with me with not being able to put the marker in the right spot? Okay. March 1st is a Sunday. So she says, fine, cold, windy. We went to church with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Con Conkum, Reverend Ecom, holding reception at Parsonage, whatever. Lenten meeting or Lenten meeting began and Mrs. Clark called in the afternoon. Okay, just, you know, a calm entry into March. So here we go, Monday. Fine, cold, and windy. Um, into Mrs. Nuds to pay for a loaf of bread. Mrs. Calder was there. Um, I then went over to who? I'm sorry, I should have the book up there. I then went over to Cogswell's to get my oranges. She hadn't any until night. I had a cold and sore throat all day. Oh, no. You know, um, that's sort of going around right now in the area I live in. Anyway, uh, so I had a cold and sore throat all day, but kept quiet about it. Aw, and deteriorated all day. Something all night, but better by morning. Okay. Talked with Mrs. Hopkins. So I'm glad that she's feeling a little better. Okay. Tuesday. Fine. Cold. Got cloudy during the day. Mrs. Cogswell was in and brought my oranges. She needs that for that cold, right? Um, I went out. Nope. Uh, out a pair of pajamas. Oh, I cut out a pair of pajamas for Larry, Lacey, somebody. Um, hmm. Morning. Um, having supper at the church tonight. A dollar eighty-five. Too much for Gertrude and me. Talked with Burl. A dollar eighty-five. Remember when we were trying to figure out how much groceries and food was uh, last month? That is a little expensive. $1.85. Okay. Wednesday. Raining. I'm having a hard time seeing. I need a little bit extra light. Hold on one second. Okay. I hope that's better. I had to add a little light back there because I can't see the front of my book. Newbies, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I'm getting there. Okay. We're on to Wednesday. Raining. Going to sew, making uh, Gary pajamas. Got letter from Varma, Mrs. Frazier, Mrs. O'Brien today. Gertrude talked with Burl at 8 p.m. Got Archie's bank book back. And then it said someone, somebody died. I don't think we've ever seen this. Stedden, Stodden. We've never seen that word before. So she got Archie's bank book back. Have we heard about somebody named Archie? I don't believe so, right? 
So why would she get his bank book? I wonder... Was she married to an Archie? Is she still married to Archie? I don't know. All right. Thursday. Fine, windy, occasional snow flurries. Mrs. Nudd got me one loaf of bread and two uh, tubs of butter or pounds of butter. Mrs. Hopkins in from with a $55 check. Gertrude went to Melrose. $55 is a lot of money. Gertrude went to Melrose. I sent a $10 check from Francis to get cashed. It was for my room. It looks like rank. My room. Oh, my room rent at home. Okay, so you got to keep in mind she has two addresses that we've come across in this diary so far. So she's still having to pay rent. And I believe at the time she was living with the Frasers. I don't know, guys. Hopefully some of these things will clear up, right? Okay. It was for my room rent at home. Buddy Corkins came home after six weeks in the sea spa. It looks like SPN. But six weeks is a pretty long time. Cold, not so good. Big snow squall. <laughs> I don't know what this word is. Big snow squall. Gertrude was at Melrose. Got dark, then squall. With easy wind. So no time, snow, no time, ground was white. Okay, then sun came out. <laughs> Mrs. Hopkins in for minutes. So basically there was like a little snow squall while Gertrude was in Melrose shopping and then it came and went and barely any white on the ground. Okay, that's what I got out of that. We are at Friday. Fine, cold better. Ran into Mrs. Cogswell's to get her to something Ma. Show Ma about putting Gary's pajamas together, his pants. Aw, so her mother is going to put Gary's pajama bottoms together. I wonder if Gary is a child or a young man or an old man. <laughs> Saturday, fine. Went to Melrose with the Cogswell shopping. Fuller brush man called before we left to bring us brushes we had ordered. Mine was a hairbrush for $1.45. Gertrude got a clothes brush. Talked with Mrs. Bishop. She was at Anna's. So their brush order came in and her hairbrush was $1.45, which is a little pricey considering... She was talking about the dinner they had at the church that was, what, a dollar eighty-five for both Gertrude and her. So, but a brush is going to last a lot longer. Dinner, um, you know, dollar eighty-five for something quick that you can't do anything else with is sort of wasteful. Okay, we're up to March 8th. Fine, we went to church with the Corkums. And that is it. That's all she wrote on that day. Monday. Fine. Gertrude washed and I did up the work. Did most of ironing in the afternoon and Gertrude did rest. Mrs. Corkum invited us over to see TV at 4 p.m. Ooh, I wonder what they're going to watch. She served grape juice and angel food cake. Mm. Angel food cake. I love that. Gertrude went over to Mrs. Cogswell's in the evening to see TV. Just as she got home, had a big snow squall. <laughs> so it was an afternoon of watching television, first at the Corkums, and then Gertrude watched TV at the Cogswell's in the evening. I want to know what they were watching. wonder if it was Fireside Chat. 
All right. Tuesday, March 10th. Cold, windy. Cut out Gertrude's nightdress and pattern. Cut out an apron. Wrote letters. That sounds like a lot. You know, when you're being creative, time can go by very quickly. Wednesday, March 11th. Fine. Gertrude went up to Elmwood Market in morning. I cleaned up house for her while she was away. I knew she'd be tired. Aw. I went into Mrs. Cogswell's in the morning. Took scissors back she had loaned me. Got apron pattern, Mrs. Corkum. Got apron pattern. Mrs. Corkum in at 4.30 for a while. I got letter from Varna. Mabel Stone. Uh, morning uh, something, some better. So Varna... We remember what, spi not spicy, but what really cool information we found out about Verna in the uh, February wrap-up. And if you did not see that, I really highly suggest you go see that because it has some really cool information about, you know, recent times. Not recent, but somewhat. Okay. March 12th. Dull all day. Looks as if it might rain. Burl is coming this afternoon. Gertrude made cake and pudding. Oh, not one dessert, but two. Mm -hmm. Didn't get to sleep last night until after one in the morning. Got, um, start up to bed at 9 p.m. Burl arrived at 3 p.m. What? So maybe she forgot to write that Burl came in at 3 and then she went up to bed at 9 but couldn't fall asleep until 1 in the morning. And she's writing with a different pen or pencil. See? Here's... Can you guys see that? And then this is what she normally has been writing with. This bluish color. So she's got a gray looking picture now picture what am I talking about all right all right so then we are on to Friday March 13th it rained all day Burl's cold is better she went back around 2 15 p.m. in heavy rain at 5 30 Norma took us to Melrose shopping rain had stopped when we got home phoned Burl and she got into Newton safely heavy rain i wonder if newton is in like new england area um i bought a pencil ever sharp was the brand for one dollar couldn't get refill for mama sent verma or verna a letter and apron pattern send an apron uh okay so it says sewed an apron all evening for jessica jessica jessa jessia but i'm going to show you how she wrote send it looks like s-e or sewed s-e-m-d so it's right there doesn't that look like simmed with an m but it's sewed all right March 14th, we're flying through this one. This is like the writing, um, the handwriting is good and um, the activities are nothing crazy is happening. All right, so we have Saturday the 14th. Fine, a beautiful day, just like spring. Mrs. Cogswell and Norma went to Boston, which we found out is like, what, three hours away, I think. Gertrude and I went up to see Mrs. Hopkins about 11 a.m. Had a nice call. She invited us to lunch, but we thought it best to come home. Had our dinner there. Had a sleep. Exclamation point. Oh. Did they have dinner and they ended up having dinner and sleeping there? <laughs> um. 
Lacey had been here while we were away and left check Lacey or Larry and left check for Gertrude for $50. Oh, maybe it's Larry. She abbreviated. There's only one R. And maybe Gertrude is married to Larry and he travels for work because $50 is a lot. Said he was going to California back in April. Oh my goodness. He is traveling because they're on the East Coast. Wow. I see. I sewed on Jessica's apron. Gertrude finished her nightdress. Okay, very nice. Sunday, rained all day. Mrs. Hopkins called in the morning and we three went to church with Mr. and Mrs. Corkum. Very nice. All right, what are we on time? We're doing good. It's only um, 12 minutes at the most. All right, Monday, fine. We went over to see Mrs. Frazier on the evening. We had been sick, but was better. Uh, something television, but it looks like Sam television. So television, scene television. I finished in April for Jesse. Letters from Jesse and Archie. Archie mailed letter at... I don't know, north of something. Wow. He may to Italy. Jesse's back is worse again. Oh my goodness. Gertrude makes squa made squash pie. No. So Archie, oh, Archie went to Italy, right? Letter at, I don't know what that word is. Anyway, all right. March 17th, which is a Tuesday. Dull all day. I wonder if that means it's not sunny. What do you guys think? I ran into Mrs. Nudd in the morning and she gave me a wine colored rose bowl. Ooh. I often went into Mrs. Not often. I then went into Mrs. Cogswell's and took back her apron pattern. Gertrude had been over in the morning to see atomic explosion on TV. Oh my goodness. Mrs. Stokes came down and trimmed Gertrude's grapevine. Mrs. Nudd was in a few minutes. Something telephone had gone, her telephone had gone mad. Mad? <laughs> no, no, not mad, bad. Um, and it says bad. It doesn't even look like mad. What? I mailed uh, one, one care, two letters. I mailed. Mrs. Cogswell came over with two dozen oranges for us. 36 cents a dozen. Good. Oh my goodness. So March 17th of 1953, they watched Gertrude watched the atomic explosion on TV. So that is definitely something that will be in the March wrap up because Obviously, you know, if you're a certain age, my age or older, you are aware that there was um, some historic things with that type of thing going on. Did that make sense? I don't know. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. Hi again. As you can see, I've continued the video. So it's possible we can get through the entire month of March. And I, as a reminder, I have a sign right here. It says, Ye Old Treasure Hounds. This is my eBay store. And if you look in the link of the description here, remember, I'm dyslexic. If you look in the description of this video, you will see my link, my direct link to my eBay store. 
head over there if you're interested in looking for a gift for anybody, looking for a pre-owned uh, vintage and um, new items of all kinds of little treasures. Uh, head over there. I would really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to just pick right back up with uh, March. Let me just see. Oh, March 18th. Yep. Yeah. Okay, because the explosion, the atomic explosion just happened on the 17th. All right, Wednesday. Very fine all day. Mrs. Corkum took, oh, sorry, Mr. Corkum took his wife Gertrude and me down to Walden in evening to, oh my goodness. It looks like, I don't know. I'm going to show you guys. And then what is that? Right? High Street. High. To see a travel log of Scotland and England. <gasps> Are they going to go on a trip to Scotland and England? I want to go to Scotland so bad. I've always wanted to go there. What? Cost nothing. It was beautiful. Got home at 10 p.m. <laughs> A girl after my own heart because I will do the most thrifty thing that I can first. That's cute. Letters from Francis Varma. Varna. And Sadie, Gertrude washed and ironed her dining room curtains. Ooh, I bet that was not fun. All right, Thursday. Rained all day, nearly, with some snow in the afternoon. I bet they're tired of the snow. It's March. Buddy Corkum was in much better. Has to more carefully. Has to move carefully and walk straight because he... Had the back surgery. Okay. See, it's nice to know a little bit of who we're talking about, right? Mrs. Hopkins in the morning, going to church to sew. In afternoon, Mrs. Whitney came in for a while. Mrs. Hopkins came in again in the afternoon for an hour. Gertrude put up her dining room curtains. Wrote to Sadie and Jesse. Was, um... I want to look back to January. Was Mrs. Whitney the lady that she went to see her tree? And she was like, she talked a lot. So we're, <laughs> I'll find out. Okay. All right. Friday, March 20th. Snowing all day. Nope. Storming all day. Gertrude washed her bedroom curtains. I sewed some. Had a card from Mrs. Frazier, Woodstock out. What does that mean? I'm just thinking of Woodstock from the Peanut Gang, and I don't think I don't think they were invented yet. Woodstock out. I don't know. You guys have any ideas? All right. Saturday, March 21st. Fine, beautiful day. Gertrude and I went to Melrose this morning with the Cogswell shopping. Mrs. Cogswell and Norma got new hats. Gertrude did up her bedroom curtains and good tablecloth. Letter from... Gertrude talked with Burl, and she'd had a bad headache all day. Oh, poor Burl. So I wonder what Burl does. And is Burl Gertrude's daughter? Or sister? All right, guys, we have made it to Sunday, March 22nd. Just like spring, and it is really spring, underlined. Yay! We went to church with the Corkums in the morning. Wrote to Archie in the afternoon. Maybe this is Gert uh, Moinetta's love. Um, wrote to Archie. No, no. What am I thinking? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Archie's in Italy. And his bow, his bow, his lady is Jessica or something, right? Oh my goodness. So let's rewind that a second. Road to Archie in the afternoon. Way on way from Italy, I expect. I believe that's an O N. Her N's look like W's and her W's look like M's. Weird. All right, guys. Monday the 23rd. Very fine. Gertrude and I went to Melrose in the morning. Wow. Weren't they just there? Yeah, they were there Saturday and now they're going back on Monday. Um, had a great time. Aw. Had something and tea at Hopkins. Got home at 2.30 p.m. Very tired. Mrs. Corkum went to Boston. Mrs. Hopkins came in and stayed to supper and she brought ice cream. That's how you get invited to stay for supper because you're like, hey, I'm bringing dessert over and you're like, well, we want dessert after dinner. Why don't you stay? Right? I don't know. Just making it up. Okay. Spent, spent the evening with us. I went to bed early, very tired. <laughs> oh, we have some pri uh, some prices. Bought gloves for Gertrude, a dollar nineteen. Bought little bag for Mar uh, Marion Mac, seventy one cents. Two boxes of stationery, a dollar thirty. One little picture for Norma, fifty cents. A ticket, lunch, thread, and cotton for a dollar eighteen. I love that she put the prices in there, right? Two boxes of stationery, dollar thirty. That's pretty good. All right, because considering, um, you know, we can go to the Dollar Tree if we wanted to buy, you know, a little bit of stationery and spend about the same amount. All right, one second. I had to get a little drink. <clears throat> Tuesday, March 24th. Dull. Began raining about noon and rained hard all the afternoon. Yep, sounds just like spring. Our beloved Queen Mary died this afternoon. Aw. That is Queen Mary. Queen Mary? Queen Mary? Hold on. She had been sick about six weeks and died in her sleep, aged 87. Her family was with her when she passed away. Gertrude washed her kitchen curtains and got them up. Burl is fine tonight. Oh, I wonder who Queen Mary is. Is that a royal Queen Mary? Or a nickname for somebody, Queen Mary. March 24th. So that obviously will be in the roundup. Okay. Wednesday the 25th. Rainy in the afternoon. Gertrude washed kitchen curtains. Wait a minute. And put them up to windows. Okay. Well, yesterday. Aw. Yesterday she said that Gertrude washed her kitchen curtains and got them up and then the next day she said she washed her kitchen curtains and put them up sometimes we don't remember and that is okay she's remembering to write and for us that's the most important thing right all right march 26 thursday fine in the morning burl got home around 11 30 a.m lillian and hilda arrived about 2 15 from medford luncheon hannah's sister phoned that she is she is hannah at her place on pearl street hannah's sister phoned that she is hannah at her place on pearl street all right, so I will check the map and see if Pearl Street is anywhere in Moncton for the roundup. Buddy came over to see us in the afternoon and it began to rain. 
Girls left about 4 p.m., raining hard. I had letter from Minnie Alman, Almard visiting in Maine, Aqua, Aquinquit. I'm sorry that I bur butchered that name. Here, I'll show you. Obviously, it's some type of, it's a French name. I don't, I don't understand French. Okay, guys, we've made it to March 27th. We're almost done with March. Friday, dull all day. Burl left for N Newton. Tremont Temple was on the air at 9.30 p.m. for a, uh, uh, for half an hour. Okay. We have the 28th, Saturday. Dull all day. Gertrude and I went down to Melrose with the Cogswells in the morning. Mrs. Cogswell just came in with a half a dozen eggs. I thought that said alive. <laughs> nope, that's the end of the sentence. Alice had sent letter from Sadie saying she plans to... Uh, Mother move here. It's not move. And it's not. Anyway, Sadie is something about going there. Leaving April 2nd. Said Mr. Ayer died one week ago. I sent a card of sympathy to Mrs. Ayer. We had never heard that name, I believe. Wrote to Verna. Talked with Hannah. Aw. March 29th, Sunday. Raining. Mrs. Hopkins came down and we three went with the Corkums to church. Good Easter service. When we all got in the car, n n no Gertrude was there. So Mrs. Corkum took Mrs. Hopkins home and then we went back and found Gertrude in Mr. Verge's car. He picked her up and home we came. He played a good joke on her. Thought it was fun. Had fresh strawberries for supper since Sadie a card. Wait. <laughs> what? I love this. This is really taking a basically just a calm month and wrapping it up rather nicely because wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Good Easter service. Check. When we all got in the car, no Gertrude was there. So Mr. Corkum took Mrs. Hopkins home. And then we went back and found Gertrude on Mr. Verge's, Verge's, V-E-R-G-E apostrophe S, car. He picked her up and home we came. He played a good joke on her. Thought it was fun. What? I don't know what happened, but it was quite unexpected. What? <laughs> okay, guys, we have two more days. March 30th, Monday. Sort of dull, then it rained. Friday, March 31st. Dull. And she wrote it really big. I love it. In the evening, Mr. and Mrs. Whitney came down and we played Lexicon. Had lunch. Queen Mary was buried. 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 Wow. That was a very... There were... If, if the Queen Mary she's talking about is the royal, then two very historic things happened. Well, three, actually. The atomic blast happened. We'll have to find out where that atomic blast 
occurred? Was it a testing or was it the other one? Um, and the Queen Mary passed and then they buried her. So I'll try to find out if that is the case. So Queen Mary, is she the mother? She's not the mother of Elizabeth. She must be the grandmother. Is that correct? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, and it would uh, make sense because they live in Canada. So, of course, that would make more sense that it really is the royal Queen Mary. Um, so, we have a few things to find out for our March, um, our March roundup. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be that intense, but also very interesting. And just as a sidebar, I did miss th uh, two items on my February roundup. I forgot to turn my note paper over. So I'm going to add two items uh, when I do the March roundup. So it'll be a little addendum for February and then our March roundup. But in the meantime, let's close her up. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching and being with me. And um, if you've watched to the very end, please write in the comment what? Long live the queen. Sounds fun. Thank you. Have a great one. And I'll see you soon. Bye.